The Company of Merchant Adventurers to New Lands was an early joint stock association, which began with private exploration and enterprise, and was to have been incorporated by King Edward VI in 1553, but received its full royal charter in 1555. It led to the commencement of English trade with Russia, Persia and elsewhere, and became known informally, and later formally, as the Muscovy Company. First phase The company was formed in London in about 1551 by Richard Chancellor, Sebastian Cabot and Sir Hugh Willoughby. Some 240 adventurers investors purchased shares at £25 each and a royal charter was prepared for their company under King Edward in 1553, making Sebastian Cabot its governor. However the king died before it could receive the seal. The circumstances are described at the opening of the Charter of 1566. Divers very good subjects of this realm of England in the latter end of the reign of the late right high and mighty prince our surrein lord King Edward VI, at the gracious encouragement and right good liking of the said king, and by his myostes liberal example, did at their adjuenture, and to their exceeding great charges, and for the glory of God, the honour and increase of the royal news of the crown, and the common vitality of the whole realm of England, set forth three ships for the discovery by sea, of isles, lands, territories, dominions and seigneuries v. known, and by the subjects of the said late king not commonly by seas frequented, and after that almighty God called to his mercy the said king, who died before the finishing and sealing of his most ample and gracious letters of preleges promised to the said subjects. The purpose of the company was to seek a new, northern trade route to Cathay China and the Spice Islands the Malukas, now part of Indonesia. The first expedition of the company was led by Willoughby seeking the northeast passage to China. Three ships were outfitted and crewed for the expedition, which departed from London's Deptford docks on of May 1553. Willoughby was aboard the Bona Esperanza 120 tons, with Richard Chancellor in command of the Edward Bonaventure 60 tons and Bona Confidentia 90 tons. The ships became separated in a storm in the North Sea, the Bona Confidentia and Bona Esperanza rejoined, rounded North Cape and sailed east to Novaya Zemlya. The Edward Bonaventure likewise sailed around North Cape and along the Kola Peninsula, entering the White Sea in August. On 24 August 1553, Chancellor cast anchor near the mouth of the Dvina River and was met by local Russians. While his crew wintered over near present-day Archangelsh, Chancellor travelled overland to Moscow, where he was received by Tsar Ivan the Terrible. Willoughby's two ships turned back from Novaya Zemlya in September and attempted to winter over on the coast of Lapland. Every crew member soon died from cold and hunger. Chancellor returned to the White Sea in March 1554 and arrived back in London in the autumn, bearing a letter from Tsar Ivan to the English king, welcoming trade between the two Christian nations. By this time King Edward had died and Queen Mary was ruling in England. The Charter of Incorporation, 1555 In 1555 the company received its formal royal approbation in a charter of incorporation issued under the date 6 February 1554 fifths, but long afterwards amended to 26 February by King Philip and Queen Mary, of which the full name was, "...the Marchants Adventurers of England for the Discovery of Lands." territories, isles, dominions and seigneuries unknown, and not before that late adventure or enterprise by sea or navigation commonly frequented", as one body and perpetual fellowship and commonalty. 
The promoters of this charter are headed by William Marquess of Winchester, Lord High Treasurer, Henry Earl of Arundel, Lord Steward of the Household, John Earl of Bedford, Lord Keeper of the Privy Seal, William Earl of Pembroke, and William Lord Howard of Effingham, Lord High Admiral of England, who with others Howe at their own adventure, costs and charges, prouded, rigged and tackled certain ships, pinnaces and other meat vessels, and the same furnished with all things necessary Howe advanced and set forward, for to discur, descry, and find, isles, etc. The charter constituted the company under its governor, Sebastian Cabot the chiefest set forth of this uni or voyage", with four consuls, Sir George Barn, William Garrard, Anthony Hussey and John Southcott, with twenty-four assistants named from among the principal adventurers, its many named investors becoming the Fellowship. The Fellowship was to meet annually to elect one or two governors and twenty-eight of the most sad, discreet and honest persons of their Fellowship as assistants to the governor or governors, of whom four were to be chosen consuls. This became known for short as the Muscovy Company or Russia Company, and its members the Merchants of Muscovy or Merchants of Russia. The company sent Richard Chancellor again to the White Sea in 1555, in the Edward Bonaventura and the Philip and Mary, where he learnt of the fate of Willoughby and spent 1556 in further exploration and negotiations with the Tsar. Having recovered and refitted the Bona Esperanza and Bona Confidentia, he set out to return, taking with him the first Russian ambassador to England, Osip Gabrilovich Nepeya. Three of the ships attempted to overwinter at Trondheim, where both of Willoughby's ships were lost, the Philip and Mary arriving in London in April 1557. Chancellor's ship went ahead but in November 1556 foundered off the east coast of Scotland near Pitsligo, and Chancellor was drowned. Nepeya however was rescued, and was conducted by Viscount Montague to London, where in March 1557 he was met by a grand procession led by Sir Thomas Offley, Lord Mayor, and conducted through the city to his appointed lodging. Here during the months of March and April he was faded by the city companies, and with the exchange of royal gifts he returned safely to Moscow. Topic Elizabeth's Charter of 1566 Indiana 1566 Queen, Elizabeth I issued a new charter of incorporation to confirm the company's privileges. This charter, which was confirmed by Act of Parliament, reincorporated the company as the Fellowship of English Merchants for the Discovery of New Trades. Having referred to Mary's Charter of 1555, this continues, since the making of which letters patents, the said Fellowship Hower, to their exceeding great costs, losses and expenses, not only by their trading into the said dominions of the said mighty Prince of Russia, and c. found out convenient way to sail into the said dominions, but also passing thorough the same, and owe the Caspian Sea, Hower discouraged very commodious trades into Armenia, Media, Hyrcania, Persia, and other dominions in Asia Minor, hoping by God's grace to discur also the country of Cathaya, and other regions Uri Conwenient to be traded into by merchants of this realm, for the great benefiter and commodities of the same. It continues to explain that there has since arisen unlicensed trade, divers subjects of this realm, minding for their peculiar gainer, v. to lead to decay the trade of the said fellowship, how a contrary to the tenor of the same letters paid in great disorder traded into the dominions of the said mighty prince of Russia, and c. to the great detriment of this commonwealth, and therefore, that in future no part of these places shall be sailed or trafficked vnto, visited, frequented or haunted by any person being or that shall be a citizen or denizen of this realm, by themselves, their factor or factors other than by the order, agreement, consent and ratification of the fellowship, on penalty of the forfeit ipso facto of their ships and goods so trafficking, half to the crown and half to the fellowship. Established merchants of York, Boston, Newcastle upon Tyne and Hull who were already continually involved in such trade and were invested before 25 December 1567 were to be accounted free of the fellowship and bound by its statutes. 
At this time Sir William Garrard and Sir William Chester were its governors. It continued to be referred to as the Muscovy Company. Further English ventures led to the creation of the Levant Company in 1581, the Venice Company in 1583, East India Company in 1600, Virginia Company in 1609, and the Hudson's Bay Company in 1670. Topic. See also Company of Merchant Adventurers of London Guild Guildhall Guildhall Museum Guildhall School of Music and Drama Hanseatic League Market Place Merchant Retail